Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. My name is Arjen and today I will be having some fun with a fountain pen that I'm not even going to attempt to hide it. Uh, I really, really like the Hongdaian 8.3. As a funny thing, I have ordered this pen some time ago from AliExpress, I believe somewhere at the end of spring of this year, 2022, and I completely forgot about it. I did order it and receive it in time, in spring, but when I receive it, I put it aside and then just somehow completely forgot about it. And uh, as uh, I was doing a little bit of cleanup, as in uh, throwing away boxes, I realized that the box was not empty. Fortunately, I looked inside the box. It felt like I discovered a treasure all over again and I had to prioritize this in my review schedule. As mentioned, I bought the fountain pen from AliExpress from the uh, Hongdan store and at that time I paid around 25 Canadian dollars plus an additional 8 Canadian dollars for shipping. You can find the pen at cheaper prices, especially on eBay. Uh, usually I notice that eBay has cheaper prices for this pen and uh, especially if you get it without the box. Since uh, I do have the box before putting it in uh, well, the recycle bin, let me go quickly through what you are missing if you get the pen without a box. The pen comes in a white box, at least the silver version of this. There's an autumn black version for it. I assume it will be a similar box. And it's a carper box, fairly simple, fairly elegant, I would say, and recyclable. I'm just spinning it away. If you want to read all the stuff, please feel free to just stop the video and read what you see. The cap, you just lights out, pull it up, put it aside. And in the box, you will get, I guess, an instruction manual, which is in Chinese. Again, if you can read this, feel free to pause it and read it. And on the other side, you get instruction, I assume, on how to fill in the pen if needed. The pen uh, sits in the box on a felt-like material inside a plastic uh, sleeve. Under that, there's going to be another hidden compartment. And as you remove this, you will get two boxes of ink cartridges, 10 pieces each. I believe this seems to be the medium size. And you get a total of 20 pieces. So I would say this is actually pretty good value. These by themselves, they will hold for a while. And nothing else. This is it. With the box aside, this is pretty much the fountain pen that you get. It's a fairly slick looking fountain pen. It is made of aluminum. Uh, the version that I have, uh, it's uh, silver and rose gold trims. Starting with the top, the finial on the cap, it's flat. We have a little bit of recess in there and a painted, as far as I can tell. Or I could be wrong, that could actually be engraved. I'm not sure if it means anything, but it looks pretty cool. I like it. And the cap and the body has this twisted pattern on it that actually matches quite nicely. And the barrel has a flat finger as well with nothing on top of it as is normal for Hondayang fountain pen. And the cap and uh, the barrel, they slightly tap, uh, top um, taper. Forgot my words in there slightly tapered towards the end. The clip is fairly simple and fairly elegant. It is a rose gold in color, a little bit stiff, but fairly springy and definitely usable. I like it the way it is. Doing a quick short test. You fight a little bit to put the pan over the cloth, so probably in your shirt as well. And once it's in your shirt, this is how much it shows out of you the pan, which is kind of nice and neat, almost close to military style uh, clip and removing it seems to be very nice it is tight but doesn't seem to snag at all the clip is stamped and bent but again everything seems to be fine no issues at all 
There is a small step up and a very nice uh, rose gold band on the cap. And this is Song Liang and the model A3. The cap, it's a pull push type cap. It works very nicely and it makes a very satisfying click. And once you remove it, you will be greeted by a fairly simple section and a very nice number five nib. It looks like it has a small uh, rocket ship and uh, something that is very similar with Jupiter. I'm not sure exactly what characters are in there. And at the bottom you have Hongdian and extra fine uh, nib just underneath. It's a little bit covered by the nib unit. It's hard to see the extra fine. And a very simple um, number five uh, feed. Nothing out of the ordinary, but usually this seems to be worked just fine. Again, hard to see in this light, but I did a video with uh, my endoscope. And as you can see, the interior of the cap is uh, uh, basically a plastic, a plastic inner sleeve that uh, seems to be fairly simple and uh, covers the entire inside of the cap. So in theory, uh, the aluminum should be well protected uh, from ink uh, leakages and as such from rusting. Going back to the pen, as you can see, the pattern on the, the um, section, it's a little bit different from uh, the barrel. Maybe a little bit odd, but in a very interesting uh, way, it does work and actually gives very good grip to the hand. And I like the shape of the, of the grip. I, it doesn't bother me at all. In hand, it might be a little bit too small for some people. For me, it's just at the edge of being maybe too small, but it's still okay to use, I think. And the balance of the pen is actually pretty good. It's uh, a little bit towards the nib, which makes it uh, to point down naturally without you trying to fight over it. However, if it is too small, the pen pulls very nicely and very deep and quite secure. It's uh, pretty much almost halfway uh, in the cap. And again, it pulls very nice, very secure. You're not gonna lose it. And this makes uh, the pen to be a pretty decent size that I think it will fit a lot of people. And the weight, it's actually bang on in the middle. So you might argue that post that this pen, it's, it has a better balance. And in this position, I don't feel any issues fighting with the cap and nothing actually bothers me. This position, it's even better and gives me a little bit of length to actually do longer strokes uh, as I draw. Once you open the barrel, which by the way, you have metal threads on metal threads, uh, you will reveal a converter that comes included with the pen, which again, it's a pull push type converter, nothing out of the ordinary. This is pretty much the entry level converters that you get from Hong Liang, which is kind of a Lamy style based on the knob that you have. In case you were wondering, yes, the nib is a nib unit and it can be removed. I've added personally a little bit of silicone grease, something that I always recommend to add, but not needed if you don't want to. However, with um, aluminum pens and aluminum section, because aluminum can uh, rust uh, when you use ink, I strongly recommend to add silicone grease, especially on uh, these O-rings. This will help with uh, preventing ink getting inside the section. And going back to the barrel inside, as you can see from the uh, endoscope video, it's fairly clean, fairly simple and uh, very smooth. Not a lot of features in there, which actually is quite good, making for a very clean and decent pen inside out. So yeah, that's it. Nothing else to say about the pen. I'm gonna go through the inking process, a quick writing sample, and then I'm uh, just gonna go straight to the 
drawing part. For today's drawing, I was planning to use the Diamine Earl Grey ink. I have used this ink in the past, but not for a full drawing. I use it mostly for drawing things in the background. But today we will try and see how you can use this ink and how well this ink works for drawings. As all the other cartridge converter type uh, fountain pens that I have reviewed so far, like usual, just remove the cap, remove the barrel, put piston down, put the pen in the ink, turn the piston halfway up, then go back down, and then go all the way up. The pen gets a pretty good feel, and the pen cleans up pretty nicely, no issues there. Again, remember to uh, clean up the inside lip of this uh, aluminum. You don't want to rust if you leave ink on it. And with this specific ink, doesn't seem to be any kind of staining. However, with carbon ink, this uh, light sil silver, if you don't uh, clean it right away, I could see uh, it might be, uh, it could stain a little bit. And doing a quick writing sample, I will first try and do it uh, without posting the pen, see how it feels. So this is Hongdan A3 Fountain pen. The nib straight out of the box it's actually very pleasant, especially with this ink. Seems to be fairly wet. Drawing what it should be interesting. And the reverse, a little bit scratchy on this uh, unit, however, fairly usable. And especially if you're light, it's actually really nice. I like it. And it definitely gives you a finer line. The nib is actually very nice. I, I do like it. With this ink, it feels a little bit drier, as in uh, you actually feel it grabbing the page a little bit better. Maybe the ink doesn't lubricate as much the way the ink is made. However, it's not in an unpleasant way. Actually, I'll probably like it for drawing because it kind of gives me a tactile feel of how close the nib is to the page so I can actually glide nicely above the page. And I think I'm gonna like this thing for drawing. And no, there is no line variation. I mean, if you push down, you'll get a darker line just because you put more ink onto the page. But other than that, it's fairly simple. All right, with that, I'm just gonna go straight into the drawing since uh, there's no introduction, I have nothing planned. As I mentioned last time, I will be doing drawings from my head at, in the spur of the moment uh, of things that I'm thinking at that time, just as an exercise uh, for myself. All right, so let me get into the drawing and I will let you know what I think of this pen. I think uh, I finally figured out what my drawing from last session looked like. Burned wood or charcoal. And I realized that as I was drawing the trunk of the broken tree that formed me in my head. For whatever reason, a hand popped in my head and I went for incorporating that into the drawing. The final image that uh, built in my head was a broken tree reaching out for help or light since in my head the light setup was uh, exactly above the broken tree trunk. Unfortunately, the shading did not turn out as, um, as I uh, exactly wanted it. it. I had a very difficult time using the sink. It's odd way to shade and dry throw me off entirely and I was uh, second guessing the entire time. As an odd thing, um, as you lay down the ink while still wet, the ink had a dark emerald-like color, 
but uh, as he uh, was drawing it turned out into a grayish with a hint of purple to my eyes and the shading was different uh, as you lay down and it was wet it was lighter in color but as he was uh, drawing it was getting darker in color so it was very hard to predict how it will actually turn out when dry and to make things even more complicated, no two lines were exactly the same and uh, when overlaying things became even more uh, hectic. I almost give up and change the ink, but then I remember that this is just a sketch, a doodle. And um, to push through and see if I get a happy accident in the end. I don't know, I leave that decision up to you if it turned out a happy accident or not. Personally, I kind of like the result, even though it's a little, a little darker than uh, what I planned for. But I guess maybe it's a good thing. The darker mood sets well with the reaching out gesture. Anyway, going back to the pen. The pen performed as expected and without any issues. I uh, ended up using all the ink in the converter and went for a second fill. And used a quarter of that as well. So what do I like about the uh, Honda Young A3? Honestly, personally, I like everything about the pen. I cannot find a fault. Not sure if all copies are the same, but this for me is as close as you can get to perfection. Well, as far as metal cartridge converter fountain pen can get. I like the weight and I like the size, especially when posted. I like the feeling it has when it's in my hand. The section is great, the finish is great, nothing gets out of place, and the nib is just as good. Uh, it's really hard for me to find any minuses on this fountain pen. Uh, is there anything that I actually dislike on the Honda Young A3 if push come to shove? I'll be honest, not, not really, not for me. There is nothing that I dislike or can think of anything that people might find an issue on this pen. Again, based on the copy that I have. It doesn't mean that they're not bad copies out there. It's just, um, maybe I'm just lucky. If I really, really have to find something, then maybe I would nitpick on the fact um, that the dual tone nib doesn't match the rose gold trim that this copy came in and maybe the nib on the reverse could have been more smoother and maybe maybe I'm posted it's a tad on the light side again these are just nitpicks in my opinion I'll, I'll leave the final decision up to you based on what you have seen overall I love the fountain pen and uh, kick myself over the fact that I uh, forgot about it and almost throw it away. I'm actually planning uh, for next year to grab the black version as well and uh, I hope it will be just as good. Might do an update on that as well whenever I get it if anyone is interested. If by any means I have missed anything or you have any other questions, please leave a comment below and I will try and get to it as soon as I can. Please feel free to also leave a comment if you want to share your own experience. We all have different experiences and it'll be nice to hear uh, what other things of this pen. My experience might be different than yours and that's okay. With that said, I thank you for joining me today and I hope I will catch you next time. Wish you all the best and a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.